And greetings. It would help if I actually did the right one, didn't it? I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Let's try that again. And greetings, everyone. I am Resplendent Seraph. Today, I'm going to be starting off a new game in the E series, E7. And hello, cat. I'm up here, cat. Come here, cat. I love you. She's down at the bottom of my stairs meowing at me. <laughs> so, yes, um, this is a game I actually have played very, very little of. I started started it like, I don't know, a year ago. Um, getting it to work alone was kind of an adventure, but I've managed to get it to work and I tested it before stream. So everything looks like it's going to be good. A little bit of background. Uh, first off, it's the only game that I can see that uh, actually is in release date and also chronological date after E6. <laughs> it's the only one where E6 happens and then E7 happens because E8 takes place before E6. And uh, there's always like a bunch of jumping around. Hello, kitty, kitty. Come here, kitty. I know I just started. And of course, you want some more attention, even though I gave you all sorts of cuddles and affection all day long. Hello. Come on, cat. No, you're just going to look at me from the hallway. OK, that's not creepy. And so, uh, yes, I actually don't really know a whole lot about the story of E7. So this is going to be really fun. Um, so this, the, the, okay, so the one thing I do know, E7 is going to take place in Altago. There's actually not a shipwreck related. Mechanics wise, it's very similar to East Memories of Salsetta. It's the game that, hey, DeFry, how are you? <laughs> yeah, E7, I'm so behind. I know, we're kind of making our way through these here. Slowly but surely, we're kind of uh, making our way through these. And as we go forward, the games are going to be longer and longer. I think this one's about the same length as uh, as East Memories of Celsetta, and I hadn't played Memories of Celsetta. That was fun to play on stream. Uh, I have not played through the entire game on this. Like I said, I probably played it for maybe a half hour. Hour is about the extent of my previous uh, exposure to this game, mostly because it was originally out for the PSP. I didn't have a PSP. I had a PS3, and like many game developers... Falcom just decided they were going to avoid the PS3 as much as possible. And a lot of game companies did that. They either made games for the PSP or you see scenarios where game publishers did make games for the PS3. But then when the PS4 and other platforms came out, we just never got ports for any of those games. There are a lot of games that just got onto the PS3 and then died because that thing was just such a, a bear to program for. And so... um Falcom decided not to even make it for the PS3. They just made a PSP game. So when we look at the graphics, uh, keep that in mind that this was made for a portable system, not necessarily an actual real, like I don't want to call it a real console because the PSP was a real console. But I mean, if you're comparing hardware potential, there's a huge gulf between the PS3 and the PSP. It is just that just is the reality of it. So welcome, Deep Fry. How are you? We've got a nice little tropical storm in our neck of the woods. So you can even you can even see the cloudiness uh, behind me here. Uh, we'll see how it holds up. It had been really nice and quiet all day long. It'd been a little windy, but nothing all that crazy. But now that I'm starting to stream, I'm guessing we're going to get some because that's Murphy's Law, right? You turn on the streaming button all of a sudden, then then you get hit with a feeder band. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> well, let's get this party started here. Uh, da, 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 da. all right, let's minimize you. Let's now hit the in game. Yeah, I meant to hit my chatting button instead of that. You know, we need the rain. Oh, you're down in the Florida area. If that's the case, then yeah, we, we do need the rain. <laughs> we definitely needed the rain in Florida. Unfortunately, this tropical storm dumped uh, a bunch of rain basically in the Everglades, right where we needed it the most. So it was, it was kind of perfect. Although Tampa kind of took one in the chin today. And uh, all right, so let's get you started. Uh, before that goes, am I actually, yep, good. All right, and let's see if this actually works the way it's supposed to. It would be nice if it does. Come on, OBS, grab the game. Grab the game. Yes, there it is, perfect. That's always the roll of the dice. <laughs> Will it? Will it actually grab? You know, you never you never really know sometimes until you actually do it. But yes, this is E7, which is interesting because it abandons the Roman numerals. And it's the only game 
that doesn't have Roman numerals. Every other single one does. So that's, I, I thought that was pretty funny. Wait, wait, normal. Yeah, let's, let's do normal just so that Seraph isn't going completely bonkers. All right, that's going to be a little loud. I'm going to want to turn that down for sure. And that's loud for me too, not just, uh, not just stream. It looks like it has a lot of ancient ruins on it. Oh, God. So you already know we're going to have to go to that island. Can't really tell from this far off, but I bet it's a rundown shrine or something. Looks like it's half sunken, though. Yeah, there's Dogie. Right off the, right, right off the bat. Oh no, you've got that look in your eyes again. That always leads to trouble. And walls. You know, Altago's famous for the gigantic beasts that live there. It seems there could be some rare artifacts all over the place. Doesn't that just boil your blood with excitement? Yeah, that's definitely a little clunky. <laughs> Graphics-wise. Dogi, uh, that's not a very flattering look for Dogi, is it? <laughs> of course it does. But man, talk about lucky, huh? We couldn't have come here even if we wanted to when the war was still on between Rom and Altago. Now we could cruise on unhindered thanks to the ceasefire agreement. We should thank Ladakh for getting us on board too. Oh, whoa. Yeah, the second we get the game in-game options, I'm turning down that uh, the sound effects and the background music. Phew, that scared me. That ship must be... Yep. One of the Dragon Knight's warships. Although I could just tone down the... Uh... Oh no, that doesn't really solve anything. Patrolling the area, I guess. We're in Altaginian waters now. So that's one of the famous naval vessels of the Dragon Knights. What's going on? Okay, can we not do that? Took out an entire Roman fleet with just ten odd number of those, huh? That's right. They're elite knights after all. And just because the war is over doesn't mean they've let their guard down yet. I just hope things settle down soon so I can do business in peace. Huh, <laughs> seriously. Look over there. You can see it now. Oh yeah, looking good. I'm on top of the world! <laughs> At all. Dogi. Yeah, this was the era of games where uh, pretty much a lot of them had the like the Lego look. Welcome to the Kingdom of Altago. So we've heard about this city a lot, but this is the first game where we actually get to be in Altago. Oh, and there's the rain. It, it begins. Holy smokes. That is some crazy rain. And it's not an East game without the trademark anime intro. So far, the soundtrack is a banger.
Was that guys? No, nah, that couldn't have been guys. So yes and no, uh, <laughs> the whole ear series really does jump around the timeline a lot. Um, this is the one game that actually takes place after the game we just played. Um, it's the only ones that concur, that occur concurrently, uh, E6 and E7. At least until another game comes out that comes out between 6 and 7, which knowing Falcom is only a matter of time. So this is the Altago Harbor, huh? That's some handsome piece of work. <laughs> I understand your excitement, but do be careful after we dock, all right? Altago City is a metropolis, the political and economic center of an entire kingdom. It may be lively, but it's also a hotbed of trouble, particularly for foreigners. There have been some nasty rumors going around, too. Speaking of, I'd best unload the cargo before it gets dark. But if you'd like to have a look around ahead of me, be my guest. Just take the stairs over there to take uh, to get to the main street. There are lots of stores in the area, so I'm quite certain you won't be bored. If you're looking for an inn too, there should be one straight ahead. All right. Thanks for all your help, Captain. Don't mention it. Take care of yourselves, Adela Dogi. So in line with that, the most current game is East Nine. That's the one that's the most forward in the timeline. East Ten takes place between East Book 2 and East Book... Shit, I'd have to look it up uh, when East 10 comes out. But I think East 10 comes out... No, yeah, East 10 follows East Book 2. So it's before 4. So I think it'll go East 1, 2, 10, 4, and then 3. Huh, <laughs> dry land at last. Considering your luck with boats, I'm surprised we made it ashore at all. I love how they joke about how Adol's always getting shipwrecked. Well, anything you want to check out first? Maybe we should just walk around and take in the sights. Okay, let's talk. Should be okay here. So that's that. That's still a little on the loud side, but now it's not as high. Oh boy. Uh, so let me sw let me switch here. Let me just find let me let me find out for you for sure. Um, so I do have that. I do have that information. I just gotta find it. And I did. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, it goes East Origin, East Book 1 and 2, East 10, and then East 4. Uh, so yeah, yeah, um, yeah, it ends up, so this is back to the, pre oh, no, okay, I reread that one. Yeah, so it goes uh, 1 and 2, 10, 4, 3, 5, 8, 6, <laughs> 7, and then, uh, and then 9. So the only game occurring after this in the entire chronology is East 9. After that, so this is basically as close to the present as we're going to get. Actually, I bet I could add, I probably could just put that in the stream somehow. Well, anyway, but I I I read that off pretty pretty effectively. I think hmm. Yeah, the, the, the chronological order gets all sorts of, uh, of messed up. <laughs> yeah, let's save. All right. Oh, I played for like three hours. All right. So we'll go with this one. We'll go with the second. The second will be my save. All right. I made it further in than I thought I did. Of course, a lot of that was probably me figuring out how it works. See, you got the memories of Celsetta jump, and then I think we have flashcard. Oh, I right. switch to that. 
Right. Okay, those those just switch. When old Ladakh told me about your scurvy dogs, I wondered why he praised you so, since you look like land lovers to me. Uh, also, I'm in Canada where we're having a ton of forest fire. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you guys do need rain somewhat, hor somewhat really badly. Already one town of five. Oh, my goodness. Send some rain here. Yeah. I'll, I'll try and send this tropical weather up there. <laughs> uh. Well, actually, it already, it already stopped raining. Go figure. But it's probably only just a precursor of what's to come. I'll give you mini gratitude for what you did on board. Yeah, we got a tropical storm in the area, so that's been uh, dumping water in the area. Okay, that's enough of that. Sorry. Just wanted to try it. Once we're... Oh. Once we're unloaded, we're off to the next port. Yeah, I'm not sure what's up with that. I hope that's not something that's going to stay. Adel and you stay out of trouble right here. Right, so I don't think there's anything up here. What's that? Never seen... Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, since Argo's main industry is trade, the government actively seeks state-of-the-art tools to promote it. Right, what was that? Trade plays such a big role in El Tijinia life. We really need cranes like this one. Oh, he's just saying he never saw the cranes like this. Yep, we'll talk to the dog, because of course we will. Oh, oh. Greetings, traveler. I saw you arrive on that big ship not long ago. Are you a merchant? Worst storm I've been through was probably Hurricane Andrew back in 1992. Yeah, that was 92. That was a uh, Category 5 hurricane that uh, basically hit Miami. Well, it hit Homestead dead on. But, uh, but basically, yeah, hit the Miami area. That was... In my opinion, that was the worst storm that we've had in my lifetime. Um, even the weather recording equipment got snapped in the storm. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, Andrew Andrew was gnarly, and uh, it was really destructive. It's actually funny, the uh, building codes that came out after Andrew, all of our buildings were built kind of after that, but anything that was built before Andrew is kind of considered better than the code because it withstood pretty much the strongest storm of, of like our generation uh, so any any building that's still around after that it was made of some pretty strong stuff I see you do all your shopping within the city walls because there are monsters beyond them alright so once we leave the city there's going to be monsters uh, alright there's pretty much people here let's see that's an item oh synthesis I wonder what that is oh that might be on a like Something similar to East 5. Uh, going to look this up. Oh, yeah, that's... You'll, you'll see. We Yeah, that was uh, that was a big one. <laughs> quest info. We don't have any quest info. All right, but good to know that that's in there. All right, well, let's... Uh, let's cruise down. And like I said, the graphics on this game are a little primitive because they were not meant to dis be displayed on a screen of this size. Um, there we go. There's our map. Interesting, and it's showing the whole map. That's interesting. Will it always show the whole map? Good to know. Guessing we just walked into somebody's house. Yep, we just walked into some random lady's house. Gutsy maid. You can't just enter someone. <laughs> That's awesome. You can't just enter someone's house like that, you know? Not unless you're merchants. You don't seem to be. My master is a trader. He's quite a big player in Altago's economic sector. I'm certain you must have heard of him. That's funny. You can't just barge into someone's house. I love the RPG lampshading because you always do that. You're always just walking into random people's homes and talking to them. Hey, buddy. Gentle trader. To get the ball rolling on trade over the meadow sea, we must always plan ahead. With the war over, we may now show the world our prowess once more. Cool. Yeah, let's exit. I love how all of the um, various avatars for the characters and NPCs are a combination of really cute, but also nightmare fuel. <laughs> ah. Huh? You want us to buy one? Sure, I'll buy a fire for five gold. Mono flower.
seem to be giving one more as a bonus. Perhaps she thinks it would look good in Adel's hair. Got a Nadley flower. Strange girl. Seems really upbeat, though. Looks good on you, Adol. <laughs> Maybe it'll bring us good luck. Like I said, it's been a while, and I didn't really play it all that long, so a lot of this is going to be Seraph trying to re-remember how this works. The official religion of Altago is uh, Trithism, which deifies gods of the seas, sky, and earth alike. Stand on that platform, and you may behold a marvelous statue of the great sea god, Gratheos. Why do I have a feeling... Oh. Well, that's pretty cool. I don't actually remember doing that. I think I'd remember doing that. But, you know, you know. Another home. Yep, another house. My business is doing so well, I can't stop laughing maniacally. <laughs> it's all thanks to the Prime Minister. I love you, man. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, we're, we're leaving. <laughs> we're leaving that crazy bastard. Item shop's cool. Sorry, but we're not open yet. You guys must be foreigners. Come back after you kill some time around town. All right. In other words, wait for the uh, plot to catch up to us. Fine. Andrew's second only to Katrina. Yeah. Yep. And Katrina hit us too. Now granted, when Katrina hit South Florida, it was a, uh, I think it was a tropical storm. It may have been a Cat 1. Because um, it was a super potent storm. And then it lost a bunch of steam. Hit us when it was weak. Went into the Gulf of Mexico, re-intensified, and then hit New Orleans. But yeah, I think uh, Katrina has got the record for uh, highest speeds ever in a hurricane. Fortunately, the highest speeds it ever had were out in the ocean. It didn't wasn't actually at its peak strength when it hit New Orleans, believe it or not. Unfortunately, travels love it since it's so cool and comfortable. I just wish I could wear some exotic outfits from foreign countries every now and again. Something cuter. Yeah, the main problem with uh, Katrina is the fact that the levees broke. I mean, apart from Katrina just being a really potent, destructive storm. Ah, customers, welcome. This is my weapon shop. Unfortunately, we're in the middle of an inventory check right now. Can you come back another time? Yeah, Wilma was another one that was pretty bad for us. Even though it was only a Cat 3, but it was only expected to be a Cat 1, and that one was just pretty destructive in general, too. That was sort of the... That was another one that was... Kind of a, an annoying one because we were without power for like three weeks, three weeks or something. It's just for whatever reason, a bunch of shit got really messed up. Step away. His Majesty is extremely busy. You can't just come in here thinking you can have an audience with him. All right, so that's where the king is. This is the truthiest temple of Altago. I come to pray here daily. Yeah, lots of Game Boy time. Yeah, and for me, I I read a bunch of books. Definitely caught up on my reading. Welcome, Traveler. This is the Tritheist Temple of the State Church of Altago. We Tritheists revere holes of the sky, Maya of the Earth, and Grathios of the Sea. This belief is widely prominent in Oreata. Please, feel free to offer your prayers. Are you merchants as well? Then I suggest you offer a prayer here. Grathios, the Sea God, one of the pillars of Tritheism. He is one that has blessed Altago with prosperity through commerce over the sea. Well, since you guys would worship him then. walk around town look like that. It's not like you're dressed weird or anything. You just look like mercenaries. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's us. Oh, beautiful. They all smell so wonderful. What should I get today? Would you like some flowers? How about some herbs? My, what a lovely shade of red. You must not be from around here. And that flower? We brought it from a little girl earlier. A little girl. I see. Thank you very much. I'm sure you made her very happy. She know her? Poor Dogie. <laughs> Alright. Now, what the hell am I doing? We went, we came from over there. We can't go that way. Don't really remember how to advance the plot at the moment. 
You're looking at Altago City's best tavern. How about it, boys? Care for a drink? We have lovely rooms to offer as well, so do feel free to make yourselves at home for as long as you desire. Talk to somebody in here? Is that what's going on? Damn those dragon knights. There's so much research to do, but if foreigners can't leave the city, my hands are tied. Sorry, I don't mean to complain. My name's Michael Wotton. Wooten, seeker of knowledge. Let's compare notes sometime. Oh, that's good enough. Welcome, you must be travelers. The name's John. John Cordova. Very pleased to meet you. We serve both the bar and an inn. Drop by for a drink, or stay the night to rest your bones. All up to you. Apparently with the monsters getting more aggressive, monster repellents don't work anymore. Without the Longma cart, peddlers would have a terrible time trying to stay in business. Hmm. Young men like you should not be in a place like this so early. I'm just joking. It's good to have young faces around. Make yourself at home. Got a storehouse. Oh, right. Then the, the, the rooms. Of course, here's the way this way. Them damn old town dogs. Are, come on. Bring it back to me. They're fine. You can feel them. Breathing the same air they do. Sickening. Okay, so these guys aren't particularly fond of anybody in Old Town. Wow, you guys look strong. What do you do? Are you mercenaries? Hmm? You're an adventurer. What's that? This is a place for those that have nowhere else to go. Refugees. Orphans. People have lost everything due to heavy debts. Everyone has their reasons. Yeah, the E7 starts a little slow just because we do have to kind of wander around and talk to everybody. His child parents haven't returned for several months now. There aren't any jobs in Old Town, so they work on a merchant ship as laborers. Okay. At some point, I remember starting back here. Oh, and obviously that's an area we're going to need to go to when the boxes aren't obscuring it. Have you heard? Apparently an ancient shrine was discovered after the earthquake. That's not something that happens every day. I think we're... Hmm. It's Altago City. I think if I go over here, they stop me and they don't let me leave. You there, halt! You're not from around here, are you? I can't allow foreigners to just come and go as they please. Stay your ground. Huh? What do you mean? Just doing my job, sir. Don't try anything funny. Yep, and then they push me back to this area. Alright. So, let's go back this way. Yep, here we go. Hey, come on. It's not like I'm ordering you never to work again. I'm just saying you should take a break and spend some time with me. It's not every day someone like me asks a girl like you out. What a fucking creep. But, but... Don't tell me you're actually going to turn him down. Don't you know who he is? He's THE Commander Raud, hero of the Ramon War. You should be thankful he's willing to spend his precious time with a destitute- Jesus, right? <laughs> with a destitute girl like yourself. What a bunch of douchebags. If he's so great, why does he want a destitute girl? But I- Now, now, man, there's no need to frighten the poor girl. Of course- Turning down someone's goodwill can result in trouble. Especially if you plan to keep on doing business around here. Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> <Bah>. <laughs> huh? Maya! Bah. <laughs> Why, you little... Get away from him! <laughs> Trying to save your older sister, huh? Huh, pretty brave for a mute brat. But you're wasting your time. Nothing you can do means anything. You're nothing. Nobody. What a dick this guy is. Please stop. If you have business with me, I'll oblige. And if you tell me to stop doing business here, I'll stop. So please, just leave her alone. Heh. <laughs> Such sisterly devotion. Well, if that's what you want, I'll be a gentleman and do as you say. There's nothing gentlemanly to me about this fucking creep. Hey, Adol, looks like something's up. What should we do? 
Uh, we're helping. <laughs> we're not just gonna watch. Hey now, how about you stop right there? Huh? What? That'll instruct the knights to stop what they're doing. What the hell? How dare you issue orders to the Dragon Knights! Know your place! You must not be from around here. That red hair. You're a Europan. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. Alright, new plan. Men, arrest these foreigners. Huh? What do you think you're doing? You're under arrest, as suspected Ramun spies. We may be at peace, but one can never be too secure, you understand. And even if you're not spies, you need to be taught a lesson. To never, ever defy the authority of the Dragon Knights. Ha ha ha. Yes, sir. What? Why you? <laughs> Resistance is futile. You would best be cooperative until your charge is cleared. Damn it. I don't realize he'd have to do as he was told until his charge was cleared. S stop! These men didn't do anything at all. <laughs> I'll let you go for today. I found a new toy to play with. Good luck with your flower selling. Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? Good. I doubt we'll have any more customers for the rest of the day, so how about we go home? Can you help me clean up? Smile. <laughs> I got those two men mixed up in all this. I hope they'll be okay. Battle and Dogi had their weapons confiscated. Conveniently enough, I had them all upgraded. I had my level 11 Emil swords totally upgraded, and they just steal them. Fuckers. Ramun spies my ass. You're just making things up so you could lock us away. We'll see about that. The redhead looks like he knows his way around a sword. This blade has obvious marks of long use. Hmm. Not like a European weapon would be of any use against ours, though. Might as well be a twig. Regardless, I could tell you're not just normal travelers. <laughs> Looks like it'll be quite worthwhile getting you to talk. Like hell it will! We're completely innocent here! You've got the wrong guys! Though, yeah, I mean, adult skill with the sword is undeniable, but that's no crime! <laughs> so you admit it. Even if you're not spies, I bet you're either mercenaries or bounty hunters. Oh, right. I can't forget the possibility of you being pirates. Not quite. They're adventurers. Uh, Commander Sias? Add all the red. He's quite famous. I'd heard that his hair looks like fire, and indeed, the rumors are quite true. Adventurer, you expect me to believe nonsense like... Wait, what the hell are you doing here, Sias? You trying to defy me? Not at all. But there is someone else who has business with them, someone higher in rank than you. I'm merely following orders. What? You mean... That's right, it's a direct over from His Majesty. Sorry to interrupt your hard work, but I do believe it can wait. Son of a... Don't get all high and mighty on me. I don't care if you're the Altiginian Falcon. You're just a piece of trash from the old town. You just wait. I'll show you who's boss. Yeah, Raud is obviously bad news. My, my. Doesn't make a very good commander now, does he? No, he doesn't. As a commander of the Dragonites, myself. Excuse me, sorry. Uh, please accept my apologies for his behavior. I'm truly sorry that you two have had such a poor introduction to Altago. That's okay, I guess. Thanks. I mean, an hour and you're already in the fucking brig? <laughs> so, uh, who are you? 
The name is Sias. I am under direct command of the General. I've come here to bring you before someone who greatly wishes to meet you. Will you accompany me? We really have a choice? Wait, didn't you say His Majesty? Don't tell me. It is as you suspect. The very person we, the Dragon Knight, serve. The ruler of all Altago. His Majesty, King Carmaro, awaits you. <laughs> so I've heard wonderful, wonderful things about this game, so I am looking forward to playing it. Like, fully. This is Altago Palace. His Majesty is waiting for you in the audience chamber. You may enter at will. Right. Looks like our minds have been made up for us. Let's go at all. Your Majesty, I have brought the men with me. Let them in. must be confused. Uh, arrested, then summon here so suddenly. Yeah, that would be confusing. And look at that throne. That throne, that's like, that's not a throne. It's a fucking couch. <laughs> My name is Kaimaro. Kaimaro Sari Edonas. I am the king of Altago. Uh, well, uh, Adol Raven, say something. Adol greeted the king and introduced himself. Hmm, Adol the Red. I have heard about you, but I must admit, you are younger than I had imagined. You must be his partner, Doki, is that right? Huh? You know about me too? <laughs> An old friend of mine has told me much about both of you. A freedom-loving pirate king, as it happens. He told me of your visit to Altago. I'm certain you must know his name. One-Eyed Ladakh. And of course, One-Eyed Ladakh we just met in E6, very recently. Father of uh, Terra. You know Ladakh. That old geezer didn't tell us anything about you. <laughs> he must have wanted you to be surprised. However, I never imagined you would get mixed up with the Dragon Knights the first thing upon your arrival. Yeah, we're trouble magnets. We're even more trouble prone than the rumors suggest. <laughs> well, um, yeah, that is pretty much us. It is. It was not very long ago that we were at war. It's only natural to be on guard. Proud can be a bit of a handful on occasion, but he's not a bad man. Uh, I don't know, Kaimaral, uh... Based on what I just saw, he is a bad dude. If he's done anything out of line, please allow me to apologize on his behalf. N not at all. At all. It is my understanding that you're an adventurer. I assume you plan to explore our little country of Altago. If possible, yes. Hmm, I see. However, there is a mandate that currently forbids the movement of foreigners beyond the city walls. I believe it would be prudent for me to make an exception in your case, however. You sure that's okay? Take it as a token of my regret for what happened earlier. Besides which, you are Ladakh's acquaintances, and I must admit, I am interested in seeing what adventurers, like yourselves, actually do. Hmm. I don't mean to make it sound as though we were negotiating a deal, but I do have a favor to ask of you. A few days ago, there was an earthquake which is an extremely rare incident here in Altago. I'm unsure whether the quake contributed to its discovery, but an ancient shrine was found nearby. I had the Dragon Knights examine the area, but they found no abnormalities. I am not so easily satisfied, however. Some may call it a hunch, but I can't help thinking there might be something worthwhile there, which is why I want adventurers such as yourselves to take a look and tell me what you think. I see. Sounds like a perfect job for you, Adol. No boats involved. <laughs> what do you want to do? I'd all thought about it for only a moment, and then enthusiastically accepted the king's request. I am in your debt. Sias. Yes, your majesty? Inform them of the shrine's location. Additionally, no matter how skilled they may be, this is their first time in Altago. Please ensure they are not lacking in anything before they set off. Yes, your majesty.
I must thank you for accepting His Majesty's request. Regarding the location of the shrine, well, before we get to that, allow me to give you this. Ah, we already have a Shamshare. That was a weapon we got in East 5. That was pretty good. Yeah, it's Far Eye. Weapons? They're used here by the Dragon Knights. In Altago, our weapons are infused with what's simply known as Dragon Energy. This makes them much stronger, as well as easier to use than your open weapons. Well, they're pretty well made, I'll give you that. We sh uh, You sure we can have these, though? Think of them as an exchange for the ones Rao took from you. Besides, these Altaginian weapons are more than just strong. The dragon energy in them allows for the use of special skills. Hmm. Rather than explain, how about I show you their functions? You'll surely understand better if you see them in action. So the one thing I do know is that E7 is sort of the first of the modern East games, as far as the um, combat system and engine. And so, uh, yeah, we probably should do the tutorial here real quick. All right, come with me then. But if this was our, you know, not our first playthrough, we could have just done no need. Oh, right, and if we'd come to the Coliseum, they just wouldn't have let us in. I'd forgotten about this Coliseum. But yeah, I could, I could definitely benefit from the, the tutorial here. I don't really remember how a lot of this game works. Man, I didn't expect the Coliseum to be this big. Granted, we played Memories of Salsetta, but that was a refinement of this game. And so there were things that Salsetta had right that this game, um, I don't think has. This Coliseum is one of the royal facilities of Altago. We sometimes showcase battles between swordsmen and monster here, though it's usually used for trading. Are these two the ones you told me about? <laughs> well, hello, valiant woman. Not bad shape for foreigners. Yes, I'll be instructing them in Altaginian weapon arts. I would like your help as per our previous arrangement. No reason to turn down a request from the Falcon himself. However, I'd like you to showcase your swordsmanship in return. It would be a guaranteed full house if you're the headliner. As long as the general agrees. Oh, you're no fun. You there. Ready the beasts. Yes, ma'am. Who is that lady? Leather? Metal studs? Killer outfit? She must be the... Executioner? Hm, spot on. Her name is Ursa. And yes, she is the executioner and manager of this entire facility. I have requested that she provide some monsters for training purposes. Learn by doing as they say. Real monster already? Huh. <laughs> Let me at him. <laughs> that I shall. Now then, before you begin, why don't we go over some basics? In locations where Adol unsheaths his sword, battle controls are used. Alright, so A is the attack button. Button repeatedly for combo attacks. Uh, switch between characters, right. So, left bumper, right, okay. And then B to evade. Okay. Approach the enemy to attack, and fall back when you sense danger. This is the number one rule of survival. You may already know this, but it never hurts to reconfirm the fundamentals. Alright. Kind of a little overly basic, though, if you ask me. Yeah, this part we already kind of probably know, but anyway. Why mess around? Details of the new tutorial can be found in your help section of your journal. You may check your journal at any time to review any tutorials. Alright, let's get started. You know, if I'd known it was this basic, or if I'd remembered it was this basic, I would have skipped this. Alright, skills are linked to weapons. Therefore, in order to use them, you must first equip those weapons. Before we go any further, let's go over equipping weapons and skills. Okay, so, yep, let's equip. Um... Shamshir, have anything? Yeah, we'll put strength blast, and then we'll go to. Oops. Perfect. 
Alright. Well, we're already almost 40 minutes in. Good. Looks like you're both ready. Um, yeah, we are, but... Hey, Adol, is it just me, or do you feel something from the weapon? Hm. The energy you feel surging through you as you hold a weapon is dragon energy. If you can feel it, that means you have natural talent for using skills. Oh, well, great. That just makes me want to try using some. And so you shall. <laughs> Oh my god, they're going to make us go through all of this, but if we didn't get it, we could always go back to this, I guess. Alright, fine. Already equipped the damn skill. Let me to explain the process. Listen well. Use skills, use SP. Yep, alright. Which is stored each time you attack any of them normally. And use charged attacks to store a lot of SP at once. Alright, so that, then strength blast. Okay, when enough, press the button. Combination of the skill you want to use, right? And press and hold A to charge your attack. Charge attacks are stronger than regular attacks and increment SP more quickly. Oh, uh, okay. That's the basic premise. I see. So you need to store up energy during battles to use skills. Man, this could take a while to get used to. Sure, if you actually try it. Yeah, you'll find. It'll be fine. It's a dummy doll used mainly to train new recruits. You'll naturally get familiar by using skills for practicing on it. All right. Well, at least it gets us. Let's us do this. Best used to train with dolls just like this. Do you plan to just stand there and wax nostalgic? Come, take up a fighting stance. Shouldn't be too difficult. Simply use charge attacks and skills to destroy the doll. However, if you destroy the doll without using both charge attacks and skills, you must do it over. Over and over until you do it properly. Okay. Why so strict all of a sudden? It is training, I guess. Let's try it at all. Ask the spirit. You ready? Begin. But, uh, why are we not? Okay. Ah, I see how right. We got it. Looks like you understand how to use skills now. Cool. Man, what great stuff. Altogenian weapons are really strong. Using charge attacks effectively also helps with using skills. And that is the extent of the knowledge I can impart to you regarding skills. Alright, and then attack types. This is some that's this is just a uh, a signature of every East game from seven on. Um so adult tends to be like strike. Some characters will have piercing and some will have bash or something along those lines. Lastly, inform you of attack types. It's a bit complicated, but it'll be helpful to at least have an idea. Depending on the monster type, the efficacy and accuracy of your attack may change. Rule of thumb for soft enemies, use Adol. For hard enemies, use Dogi. Alright. So that's even simpler than, uh... That's even simpler than, um... Ah, uh, okay. So sword... Yeah. So we got soft, hard, and then light enemies. Okay, and then for that, we'll have, uh... Piercing. <laughs> Basically. So, yep. There are various types of monsters, each with different characteristics. Sometimes your weapons won't work. I hear you what you're saying, but I don't really get it. I don't know I have fought countless battles so far. We've never had to worry about attack types before. Foreigners. Don't underestimate the monsters, especially if you've never fought one in Neltago before. Ursa, right? I didn't mean to sound cocky or anything. It just comes natural. Sias, they're ready. Good timing. At all. Dogi. Your monsters await. After a real battle, I'm quite confident you'll understand the true importance of attack types. <laughs> Those are Altaginian monsters. They've been captured specifically for training purposes. They're broken in, so to speak, so you needn't worry. These monsters in particular have extremely soft bodies, making strike attacks ineffective. Which means that my attacks won't work. Just great. Why don't you try attacking first? You'll see what we mean right away. Monsters are getting impatient. We should get started. All right, let's do this at all. My beasts, you may proceed.
Okay, now that I see that, let's uh let's dial this down a little bit. Let's dial that down ever so slightly. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I I turned down the volume, but uh clearly I needed to turn it down a little bit more. <laughs> Alright. Not bad. My text really didn't work. It's not over yet. Next. This time the monster has a hard shell. Looks like your sword won't do much at all. Let me do the attacking. Begin. Let me at it. Hmm, good. How was it? Do you understand the importance of attack types now? Yeah, I never imagined that my damage output could vary that much. Monsters in Altago really are strong. It's good that you understand. Keep in mind, however, that this is only training. In real battles, you may face many monsters at once. Alternating who will attack, therefore, becomes all the more important. Yeah, they're going to make us switch constantly. In other words, teamwork. Good thing I'm with you, buddy. That's about it. Anything else you'd like me to go over again? No. <laughs> <sighs> I see. If you ever feel the need to confirm anything you learned today, you need to only check your journal. There are a few unknown monsters in Altago, or uh, more unknown monsters in Altago than there are known. So it's certain to always keep your guard up. We're done here. Why don't we go outside? I have work to do, so if you'll excuse me. At all thanked her, son. Don't mention it. Come by any time. I'm always here, and I do so enjoy my work. Be careful not to get eaten by monsters out there, or there won't be anything left for me. Uh, thanks. <laughs> now, if you have any questions, I will answer them. You may ask anything, not just about how to fight. Um. Yeah, sure. Outside Altago City is an open area called, predictably, Altago Plains. It's quite expansive as roads that lead to the numerous villages which dot the land. Just wandering about is sure to get you lost, so I suggest you regularly take note of your location. Hmm, I must warn you though. Among the monsters of Altago, there are some which are quite enormous. We call them Tatanos, and they cannot be defeated through regular means. Even the normal-sized monsters are quite ferocious, and they may attack in packs. In Altago, it's considered common sense not to wander into the plains without a companion. There are two of you, but it would be better if you had a third companion. Stronger weapons would be prudent as well. We have a procedure called synthesis in Altago. You should be able to use it to obtain more suitable armaments. If you want to know more about it, I'd suggest visiting one of the weapon or item shops, or even a street merchant. Ah, no further questions. If you'll excuse me then, the Shrine His Majesty wants you to investigate to the northwest of here. Ah, right, take this with you as well. There it is, our map of Altago. Access items, including the map, Press the assigned menu button or key. This will open the item menu. When checking the map of Altago, your next destination will be marked with a flag. Ah. Yep. Man, thanks a lot. <laughs> Should you learn anything, please do report back to His Majesty at once. Good luck out there. Man, for a moment, I thought we were done for. Guess we can't complain, though. We got some meat... We got to meet the higher ups and even scored us a pass out of this town. Heck, skilled swordsmen even taught us a few things. It's a good start to our journey, if you ask me. A good omen, even. So, are we gonna head out or what? We need to kick us some shrine. <laughs> Alright, so here's the uh, Coliseum. We've got a decent amount of money, but at this point, let's. Alright! Let's go back to all. Um, so that's Altago Castle. That's the port. Um, feel like there are side quests that I found by wandering around here, there, and everywhere, but I don't remember where I found them or how. It's an edict. Warning, monster sightings near Altago City are on the rise. 
carrying a monster repellent bell when leaving the city is strongly advised. Foreigners are hereby forbidden to leave the city. I don't remember how I did it. So why don't we just leave for now? Fruit that grows in the sunny land is hollow. Oh, it's very delicious. Want some? My fruit's the world's best. Take a look. I can prove it. We really don't have a lot of money. I don't really see anything that jogs my memory. So for now, let's just head outside. I've been ordered to let the red-haired adventurer and his party through, so you may pass. Once you're out of the city, you will face monsters, so be certain to take care out there. Hey, Crosshair, welcome back. We're just getting into E7 here. Well, attack and drain your HP. If your HP reaches zero, it's game over. Right, and this game, standing still, allows us to regain our health, health again. Okay. Perfect. Alright. Hence this. Alright, well, it's nice of it, them to give us the map here. I vaguely remember having to expand this. I wonder if because I have it on my old save, that it remembers this. But I guess we'll find out. Maybe it does. Just let us do this. the sign. East Altago City, North Altago Plains, beware of monsters. Alright, so let's see if Seraph can refresh his memory. Alright, so that's dead end. Let's find out what's up here. Okay, let's see. So there we go. Yeah. I thought that would finish it for sure. That's how this works. Well, that's okay. I'll figure this out. Right, so when I'm at the end of a combo, I can do a skill, and that will keep me. And allow me to keep going, essentially. That's pretty nice. Okay. I don't remember. I really don't remember which way I need to go here. Let's see. East Altago City, West Shinoa Village. Right. It's not going to let me. It's not going to let me go that way. I remember that now. We could try going that way, but it, the game will stop me and turn me around. Level two. Yeah. 
do want to go this way. Ugh, eco extract. Fine. Of these little fuckers. Right, we'll take prairie wood. We don't need that, I think. Hey, doggy. Um, Water. Yeah, we'll take all these materials for sure. Got more eco extract, which I think is healing potions in this game. I think. So we'll probably do. Let's get to the shrine. And before we uh, actually deal with the shrine, I'll probably work my way back, upgrade our equipment, like any seasoned good, you know, RPG player will do. Here's the shrine. Didn't take us too long to get here. I don't think there's a fast travel. But it would be really convenient if there is. Shrine in the northwest of town. This looks to be the place. The Dragon Knights couldn't find anything here, right? I guess we should probably take a look around anyway. See anything? Alright, that's the way down. There's obviously a treasure chest up there, so let's go get the treasure chest. I'll take more healing potion, thank you very much. We get to a second one, which is down there. We'll find out if fast travel is even possible. You want to do just in case I go to a point of no return here. Does allow us to use the map. Yeah, there's no fast travel. Okay. That is all right. We can we could deal with no fast travel. It was actually weird having fast travel in E6. I don't remember having fast travel in that game uh, in the PS2 version. So that was interesting. So I don't know if Konami took that away, or if, um... Yeah. Okay, we'll just stick with you here while we deal with this shit. All right. Shit. You. I think we might just avoid those rock monsters. Go 
survive. You guys aren't worth my time. It takes too long. Hey, ghosty. Where are you, my friend? Now I need to see uh, Deadpool. So we're playing E7, which Seraph has never played before. Well, all right. I played this like a little bit last year, but uh, we're not... It's, it's not going to take us long to get past the point where Seraph got to. Good. I'm already at level 3 now. Yogi's at level 3. What? I'm hoping to make enough money by the time I get back to upgrade my sword or, you know, armor. We'll find out. So far, I'm not that big a fan of the uh, music. Like, the opening was a total banger, but now I'm like, mm, this is like... Okay. Ooh. We got some lightning. Yeah, I loved the first two. Although I don't remember much of the second movie. But I remember liking it. I saw the first one a whole bunch of times, so that helped. Wait, did I just run past the weapon shop? I totally just ran past the weapon shop. That's Sarah. Okay. Welcome, this is the weapon shop. We have made blunt object and stuff for all your bludgeoning needs. <laughs> yeah, we could also do synthesis. Yep, yep, that's fine. Uh, yeah, this is similar to, to mechanisms in later games. Okay. Wow, I still can't afford the longsword. Shit. What about armor? Well, I could at least... Well, okay. I could at least upgrade my armor. Okay. We'll buy the Keytra armor. Yep. Alright, well, that's it for money. Totally blew my load on that. <laughs> but... reason you did not equip. thought I told you to equip you, but whatever. Alright, let's also take a look at this. Strength Blast still there, huh? Still have a co-op combination. Alright, well. So it goes. Oh, well, we can't afford anything at the item shop because I spent all my money. I'm a genius. We'll just talk to our captain one more time before we head out. Just to see if there's a uh, dialogue. Except he's not over here, is he? Nope. Okay, never mind. Fine, fuck it. I still don't see anybody. I think what I have to do is talk to somebody in Old Town for a side quest. But I don't remember how it went. Let's move along. Yeah, Old Town's not meant for me. Okay, sure, whatever you say there, buddy. What? I can't hear what you're saying. Sorry, I'm very hard of hearing. I have to... Please ask someone else. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you give me something. Parents haven't returned for several months now. All right, so I got to find that kid's parents. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, well.
Fuck it. Let's go in the shrine and clear it now. Zappity zappity. Slashy slashy. Weather outside is really taking a turn now. Hmm. I can get some of my SP back by slashing the grass. Goes. Let's improve my meter. Definitely gonna want that in a minute. Right, I forgot it's like a circular slash too. Dogi was a little, uh, obsessed with these assholes. It is actually fun to be playing in a game where Dogi's actually a character, though. Clearly, they brought back the, uh, the charge slash from East 5. We're already at maximum. No worries there. Goodbye. Okay. Now, we'll cruise down here. Yep. This way. So how's your weekend going, Ghosty? Presumably you're not dodging uh, tropical weather like we are right now in our area. <laughs> right. Okay. Oh, what is that, uh... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I probably should have brought a sh bought a shield, but oh well. <laughs> oh well. Now we fight our first boss. Not crazy weather, no, but just a typical heat rage, yeah. Yeah, thankfully heat, it's been pretty warm down here. But we don't get nearly like blasted like some other places do. Open space, nice. Looks like this really is the shrine the king was talking about. a stone monument of some sort. Want to give it a closer look? Yep, and this is where all hell breaks loose. There's a strange seal drawn on the dock on the monument. Hmm, seems really old. What do you think, Adol? Yeah, when could early start to the day for movie theater? Yeah, if I see Wolverine and Deadpool, what I'd probably do is, like, take Tuesday off or something and just go during the day. Strange energy filled the room. You know, those Tuesday day matinees. One of the few reasonable times to get a movie ticket. What the? 
Visitor to Altago from foreign lands, thou hast the calling of a warrior. When it's saying, uh, yeah, that is the time to go to the movies before, you know, the crowds get there. To thee, I shall grant my seal. That's actually the last time I went to, uh, the last time I went to a movie was a um, documentary for Yogi Berra and did the same thing. Went, went early and I think I was like all of one of 10 or 12 people in the entire theater. It was awesome. Yeah, like 1 p.m. my time. To thee, I shall grant my seal. Whence the history of Altago unfurleth. He who bears vigor, grace, and grief doth appear. Ere ancient Altago meeteth its doom, thou shalt visit my brethren. You know, whatever the fuck any of that meant. <laughs> Hey, you all right at all? I don't mention a slight dizziness, but claim to feel fine otherwise. Okay, well, as long as you're not hurt. What was that voice just now, though? And that monument thing. It's still giving off light. Yeah, I think this is the only game where Adol's actually a real companion. Because he's in 8 and 9. He's, I mean, he's in just about every game. But in 8 and 9, he's never actually in your party. Um, and it's a party system. Both of those are party system games. Now, he's a very valuable ally. And, um, you know, he's a cool character. But he's not actually like this, where he's actually going along the journey with you. So this is pretty neat. You should probably head back to Altago. Tell the king what happened and all. Okay. Okay, a gigantic two-headed turtle. Cool, 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 cool. Whoa, what in the... What the fuck is that? Is that one of those Titanos the commander was talking about? Though he didn't actually curse. But I mean, he really should say that, right? Why is it here of all places? Damn it. I guess we got a man up. Let's do this at all. Okay. Damn. Okay, I was wise to avoid that. Damn. All right. Whoop, that sounds like a raid. Hey, freak bot. We're in the middle of a boss fight, but welcome. Glad to see you. Whoops. Whoops. Can I, uh... Nope, I can't. That sucks. I may die. That sucks. Damn. I can't avoid that to save my fucking life right now. Cool, I actually avoided that this time. I will handle shoutouts in just one second. You know, I'm in try not to die mode here. Ouch. Ouch there. Yeah, I'm probably going to die here. Damn it. I have not dodged that successfully once. Push what? Push... Oh, I could use that? Well, oh, that's good. I don't understand what that means. Okay. 
Oh good, I figured out how I could use heals in this whole thing. Yeah, let's heal one more time. What the hell? So greetings everybody! It said rush. <laughs> yeah, the font was really weird. Damn, I can't dodge that to save my life. Dodged it that time. Alright, we got this. What the fuck is this shit? Hmm. I'm guessing uh, nothing's working anymore. What are we supposed to do now? <laughs> Son of the game, it's knocked out well on it. <laughs> no worries, I know this is kind of important. So no, devil may buy too. <laughs> uh, it's literally turtling. Yeah, it's literally fucking turtling. The boss music is fucking awesome. Oh, warrior. Yeah, now it gives us the... Uh, Unleash the power of my emblem. Now we get our special attack. And we can use our special attack to finish it. I don't know how to use it yet, but it's going to tell me in a second. With the seal of the moon, you can now use his extra skill. Yep, you can unleash your extra only when the extra gauge is full. Yep, alright, okay, cool. That's where the uh, press the Y button to unleash a powerful attack when the extra gauge is full. Perfect. All right. What now? This power, is it coming from at all? I don't know what's going on, but this ain't no time for flapping our gums. Let's bust this thing down. Oh, right. Helps when I actually hit the right button. Oh, well that looked awesome. <laughs> so greetings raiders, you came at an interesting time. Our first boss fight. <gasps> we did it. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that power just now. Don't tell me you were hiding it from me all this time. Uh, no Dogi, uh, I, I haven't. <laughs> Otherwise the previous six games would have been a lot easier. Hey! Hey, Adol! What's going on here? I, I need to get him out of here. <laughs> Don't move him! What? Man, it's the flower girl. Although I don't know why she's here. Moving him could be dangerous. Leave him to me! Alright. Wait, haven't I seen you before? He's unconscious, but his eyes are open. This is bad. I need to make him sleep somehow. Perhaps with the scent of half-bloomed sarin flowers? I hope this works. Ah. Yep, oh, and it's the other flower girl. So yes, we've uh, come to Altago. Uh, we got arrested pretty much within an hour of landing ashore. Because uh, we meddled in affairs. Like what we do. Uh, we met the king. And the king assigned us to go to that... Uh, shrine because an earthquake unearthed it and he wanted an adventure to come check it out so we did we fought that gigantic beast known as a Titanos and that's basically uh, we're now all caught up <laughs> so greetings raiders how are you Maya what are you doing you shouldn't bother someone that's oh and of course we're playing a game from the era where a lot of uh, characters look like Legos you're awake. How are you feeling? Are you in any pain? Do you feel dizzy or nauseous at all? Adol closed his eyes and tried to identify any injuries. His head ached a bit, but everything else seemed fine. Totinos, that's the thing what happens when you leave a pizza roll out for 10,000 years. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, a Titanos. But yeah, I think Totinos... If you left it out for a thousand years, it would probably be just as difficult to break as that thing was. Oh, what a relief. You were asleep for so long. You seem much better now. And you aren't as pale as before. Here, take a sip of this. The girl poured out some thick liquid from a bottle and offered it to Adol. 
brave the rain and grab food real quick. Oh, good luck, man. Uh, I mean, the weather, as you could see uh, throughout my window, it's uh, looking pretty dark out there. <laughs> Adol accepted the liquid. A strong honey-like flavor filled Adol's mouth. So yeah, must have given us some sort of like honey tea concoction. Adol recovered, completely recovered his strength. It's the sap from an L tree. It's quite sweet, isn't it? Adol thanked the girl and asked what happened. Also, something to keep in mind for us to pick up that. Just got caught in the rain, I bet. Hey, Rob, how are you? Where should I start? Oh, my name is Tia. This girl next to me is my sister, Maya. Speaking of which, now is a good time for me to do that. Assuming I typed that correctly. Perfect. Yep. Well, oh, <laughs> the ad started right as I give uh, give shout outs. That's that's so typical. <laughs> uh, you know, what? I'll do this, though, while the ad is playing and then everyone will see their shout outs by the time they're back. Uh, it's cool to hang out with Ghosty the other day, although I think Ghosty subscribes, so he's still you're still listening. <laughs> I do appreciate uh, I do appreciate the subscribe. It's always cool to meet my subs. Um, it was also awesome to hang out the other day. Uh, Ghosty, it was it was awesome shit. Uh, I think uh, I think that's everybody that streams. All right. So this is our home in Old Town Altago. That was the perfect time to do all the shoutouts. I make a living by gathering and selling various herbs and flowers. I was out in the plains yesterday, gathering when I needed as usual, and that's when I stumbled upon the shrine. So when Freakbot gets back, I'll now have to ask him uh, uh, if he actually beat Devil May Cry 2 uh, in one session. I'm going to guess that he did. When my curiosity got the better of me and I took a look inside, I happened upon you unconscious, and your friend Dogi carried you here. At all. Uh, at all. You're awake. <laughs> How do you feel? You certainly look better than before. Your face was white as a ship's sail. Adol told Dogi he was feeling completely fine now. Well, that's good to hear. Don't make me worry like that, buddy. Sorry for the trouble, Tia. If you hadn't shown up when you did, I don't know what I've done with him. No need to apologize. It's the least I could do after you saved me from that earlier predicament. And not only that, you wound up getting arrested for it. I never got to thank you properly for that. <laughs> don't mention it. This guy right here just can't bear to sit back and watch when someone's in trouble. Thanks, Tim. We get mixed up in every flavor of misadventure there is. I've just learned to accept it and roll with the punches. <laughs> oh, dear. Hmm. Looks like you really are all better. Jeez, I keep you haunted. Sorry. Want to get going? We shouldn't overstay our welcome. Oh, there's no need to leave so soon. You should rest a bit. Really. I don't thank T again and reassured her that he was completely fine. I hesitate to let you go, but all right. Do promise you'll be careful though, okay? I'm usually either here at home or at the square where we last met. If you get injured or fall ill, please seek me out. I'll give you herbs that should fix you right up. Cool. Sounds good. We'll drop by if anything comes up. Later, Maya. Be nice to your sister, all right? <laughs> so, still not sure why the younger sister, Maya, doesn't say anything, but... Man, we seriously owe her one. Didn't see much resemblance between them, though, did you? Pretty, uh, different looking sisters. The fact that the little one can't also talk kind of makes me a little suspicious somehow. But anyway, looks like there really was something at that shrine, huh? That voice we heard. And that power. Any idea what it was all about? Let's report back to the king. Alright, I'm heading out to set up, uh, I'm doing a surprise Sunday stream to finish, uh... A link to the past. Nice. Well, good luck with that, Rob. I already gave you the shout out, but uh, I appreciate you stopping in and hanging out with us for a little bit. Good luck with Link to the Past. It's one of my favorite RPGs of all time. Um, obviously played it on my on my channel. Uh, it was a little rusty, but we we got through it pretty pretty well. Um, I'll see you later, Rob. Have a good one. All right. We did say that we would. Yeah, maybe you'll know something. All right. Sounds like a plan. Let's go to the palace.
And if we talk to all the NPCs, I'm pretty sure there's a side quest to get. But it takes a long time to talk to every NPC, so I'm going to be a little strategic about it. Quite a few Dragon Kings came to our establishment between, between ships to rest. Interestingly, each and every one of them always asked me to please keep their coming a secret from the general. Shocker. Well, let's see. Tribes of Altago and the Tatanos. I wish to know more about them, but I'm no muscle band circus strong arm, as you can see. There's little I can do. Unless, would you be willing to find some raw materials that could help my research and bring them to me here? I'm looking specifically for materials from Titanos, as well as anything native to each of the tribal territories. If you'll help me, I'll share my knowledge with you. Rants, rambles, soliloquies, segues, you name it. It would be wonderful to work together to deepen our understanding of this land. Ah, oh wow. So I, uh, I've missed quests one through four, I'm guessing. <laughs> Whoops. There are quests that can be taken by traveling around Altago. Yep. While they're not required to progress the game, you can receive rewards and bonuses for each quest you've completed. Hmm. You find something of interest? I don't need information about it now. I hope I'll see the killer so Oh, yeah, we already know about her. Commander Rod comes here sometimes with his men, and they have all such bad manners. I wish they'd stop slapping my butt and causing trouble with the other customers. Yeah, me too. Commander Rod is a fucking bad dude. That's all that guy is. Let's see. Open shop. Let's see. Let's uh, buy anything we can buy. Well, we could buy something for Dogi. Probably should buy a shield. Buy me a shield. Okay. Not that you will. Oh, okay. Now it's equipped to Adol. Okay. That's how that works. Cool. Thanks a lot. Be sure to come by again. We have many more wonderfully harmful objects in stock. Hold on. Skills are born of the same arts as allow synthesis. I don't know the details, but apparently all equipment made in Altago has dragon energy in it. Skills are a necessity when facing strong monsters. Okay, yeah, it's okay. No, I didn't want to talk to you. Actually, I do want to synthesize them. Hmm. Oh, so I could have synthesized a Nagadachi, and it's a better sword than what I've got. Hmm. Interesting. I still think I'm better off buying. Yeah. I'm better off just buying the longsword. It's money, but once I can afford it, it's better. So, yeah. I'm... Yeah, I'll, I'll pass on the synthesize thing for right now. Yeah, let me buy the two eco extracts that I used in that battle. So now I still have the same amount. Cool. Let's see. Hmm. So yeah, I did miss a couple. Wonder what he wants. It doesn't really say, does it? Hmm. I wonder which quests I missed. Hmm. Alright, well, we're moving along here. Let's go to the castle. Okay. Still haven't found a monster repellent ball, but whatever. Phew. Looks like I finally lost her. Sorry, Sigrun, but I've got something I need to do. Mumble, mumble. <laughs> What's up with that girl? She's just kind of weird. Doesn't let me talk to her. Just need to gather information. <laughs> so I've got a suspicion of who that might be, but I haven't progressed through the game enough to really know for sure. But I'm like 99% sure that's going to be someone important. Why are you not talking? Hmm, aren't you 
You're the foreigners that recently visited the palace, no? You look suspicious. Snooping around. Stay away. Okay, we're really busy here. Hi, cat. Sorry, I got interrupted by a Cleo rubbing by my foot. Hello, baby girl. Who's my good girl? I love you. I wonder where Princess Aisha went off to. <laughs> yeah, I am pretty sure we just saw Princess Aisha. Hello, kitty cat. Huh? Who's that? Hmm. Who are you? Ah, I see. You must be those vagabonds that His Majesty thought spoke of. I don't really follow his reasoning sometimes. We just recently agreed on a ceasefire with Rom, and now he greets some strange nobodies with open arms. What the hell? No matter. General, as I've said before, I'm leaving the matter to you. What Altago needs right now is commerce in the Meadow Sea. We can never be too wary of Rom, especially when it comes to safeguarding our trade ships. And we certainly cannot allow more nameless foreign drifters to wander about the country at a time like this. Understood. However, I must have you know, my men may need to be dispatched elsewhere due to unforeseen situations. There is no guarantee. Yes, yes. All hard-headed fools, I say. His Majesty is no different. Am I the only one who seeks to bring about prosperity in this land? What the hell is that bozo's problem? <clears throat> At all, I presume. His Majesty may have accepted you into our great kingdom, but you're still an outsider. I'd advise you to stay out of our internal affairs. Also, it is the duty of the Dragonites to serve and protect this great nation. We cannot allow you to do whatever you please within these borders. Pretty stern warning. That is a big dude. Adol is a, or Dogi is a big fucking dude. And that general was like significantly taller than Dogi. Well, they're a scary bunch. Who the hell are they? Counselor to His Majesty, Prime Minister Orbis, and General Dryson, the head of the Dragon Knights. Hey, Commander. Oh, hey, it's you. So they're the Prime Minister and the Military General here, huh? I guess that would account for their air of superiority. Prime Minister Orbis is also Commander Raud's father. I'm sure you can see the resemblance. You mean that jackass who arrested us for no reason? <laughs> Arrogance must run in their family, not to mention stupid eyebrows. <laughs> Indeed. So you took longer than I expected to return. Could it be that you actually found something in the shrine? It would appear you did. His Majesty is waiting. You should report to him at once. Well, let's head in there and see what's what. Maybe he can... Add some insight to this whole thing. Ah, you've returned. You were taking longer than I expected, so I was becoming a bit worried. Did you discover anything? Um, about that. <laughs> I'll explain to the king what happened at the shrine. Interesting. A Titano, so close to Altago City. My apologies, your majesty. It seems our investigation was not thorough enough. There's nothing more you could have done. We do not know where it came from, but I assume the earthquake had something to do with it. A glowing stone monument and a mysterious voice. Not to mention a power strong enough to bring down a Tatano with one blow. Do you have any explanation? Not quite, but I do have a guess. At all. That power that dwells in you. It may have something to do with the dragons. Um, dragons? Your Majesty, that's... Uh, dragons? What do you mean by that? Is it related to the dragon energy that Altaginian weapons have? Dragon energy is a bit of a misnomer. It refers to the energy which circulates throughout the country of Altago, and is not directly connected with dragons. Yet we do have a legend here involving actual dragons, which states is that these dragons are godlike beings. Regrettably, there are not many alive today that know of this. The Dragon Knights derive their name from this very legend, however. Dragons are symbolic of the power that blankets this land, after all. I, uh, 
not sure I get it. So basically, you're saying that this dragon energy is now an atoll? Well, one cannot be sure. We have no idea whether the dragons actually exist, or if maybe they once did, but then later disappeared. But the power to bring down a Tatano with just the two of you, I could think of no other possible other explanation. That is true. Tatanos are creatures that take dozens of our Dragon Knights to bring down. These two have definitely received powers surpassing those of any normal human. This is crazy. Why would a power like that choose Adol? Silly question, given how often this kind of thing happens, but still. <laughs> hmm. Perhaps it is destiny. Adol. While I do not know if the power that dwells in you is in fact from the dragons, I can introduce you to someone who is quite knowledgeable in the legend. Would you be interested? I thought you might be. While the legend has been passed down throughout all of Altago, perhaps the village most informed about it would be Shinoa. Shinoa? It's a village that continues to preserve our ancient traditions. It lies southeast from the plains. Eldris Fatima who governs the village, is well versed in the legend of the dragons. It is also said that the village is an ancient altar dedicated to one of the dragons they revere. Is it like the one we found at the shrine? It's totally like the one that we found at the shrine, isn't it? <laughs> that I do not know. However, I believe it will be a good place to start regardless. Sias. Quill and paper. Yes, your majesty. And just like that, we have the King's Letter. This should make it easier to speak with the Eldress. Take it with you. At all, thank the King. No need to thank me. I'm personally curious to know more about these dragons myself. If the Dragon Knights were avail- Hmm. <laughs> wow, that's a hell of a coughing fit. Your Majesty. Hmm. Do not worry. It is only a small fit. It has subsided. Your Majesty. You must limit the time you spend on official business. If anything were to happen to you, the Kingdom of Altago would... Enough. I've already given a large portion of my duties to you and the Prime Minister. It's not as if this illness can be cured. Allow me at least this much. Understood, Your Highness. Are, are you alright? Please excuse me. I did not mean to frighten you. I am currently fighting an illness. It is a malady particular to Altago. It is not infectious, so there is no need to worry. Back to the matter at hand. The road to Shinoa is long, and there are many beasts outside the city walls. Be careful on your journey. <laughs> you having fun out there, kitty kitty? No need for concern. But your majesty, you've been suffering these attacks more often than you. You mustn't exert yourself. I didn't take you to be so prone to worry, Sias. Even the Altaginian Falcon can be rattled on occasion, it would seem. There's no time for jest, Your Majesty. That nickname has no bearing on this situation in any way. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, clearly he is pretty fucking sick. That's... That's totally going to be a plot point, I'm sure. You can see that. Jeez. All right, so let's, um, also do vaguely remember... I hear Commander Rod's men sometimes go out and do whatever they want as if they're untouchable. They even harass innocent civilians for fun. They're a fucking menace. Hell yeah, they are. The general oversees every, parts of every part of Altago's military, including the Dragon Knights and Navy. The general always prioritizes the safety of the citizens. He truly is a man of honor. Most trustworthy. Yeah, I'm going to call bullshit on that. What? You can't help? How can you not? The princess has stolen away from the palace again. If we don't find her quickly, who knows what trouble she'll get into? Damn it, I don't care who. Anyone that's free, bring them to me. <laughs> yeah, that, that girl wandering around. That was totally this princess. Uh, uh, goodness gracious, I've already forgotten her name. But uh, give me two seconds. Let me grab some more water and I will be right back in just a moment with more E7. What's up, Cleo? You want some more food? Yeah, you want some more food?
turned in. Oof. Yeah, I needed water really bad. <laughs> okay. At least the game sufficed for having, um, you know, pause music that time. Okay, so there's that. I don't remember what's down here. I think this is the prison. Yep, this is where we started. I just want to look around a little bit. I don't think there's anything to find, but just for the shits and giggles of it. Well, this office looks important. Who are you? General will be heading to the naval base soon. The war hero that directed the navy together with Commander Sias to drive back the Ramun forces. Everyone looks up to the two of them. Names to be like them. Hmm. Okay, just a bunch of offices here. But nobody's here. Okay. Onward to the village. Dogi has such a weird run. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, what's with this girl? Uh, let go of me. I don't, I don't, I don't want Sigrun to find me. Ah. <laughs> well, Maya's instantly drawn to her. Ow, stop it. Stop it. Ah, uh, the comic relief. Hey, Maya, what are you doing here? And who's this? Who, who, who do you think you're looking at? Uh, wait, red hair? Uh, I see now, you must be that adventurer or whatever. Waste of time. Why did father invite these nobodies to the palace? I mean, they're just... Okay, I forgot how obvious the game made it. <laughs> well, what? You've got something to say? No, not especially. It's just... What's with the outfit? Excuse me? Look, do you know why? I mean, um, listen, you better not do anything suspicious while you're in Otago. You got that? Self-important Prime Minister is always giving me such a headache. Ah. <laughs> Ow, I said stop. <laughs> do you know this girl? Teach her some manners. What was all that about? Girl, she's definitely hiding something. Well, whatever. Maya, you should be careful when you're talking to strangers. It might be dangerous, you know? They don't come any stranger than us, Dogie. Eh, I'll just take that as a yes. <laughs> Speaking of which, maybe we should go visit Tia before heading out to Shinoa. She helped us out a great deal. Wouldn't hurt to thank her again. Well, that is certainly a hint I will take. Let us go to the old town. Zanzibar is just shameless. What a despicable man. He has no plans to do business with the common folk. They shouldn't have set up shop in the public square. I buy flowers from this little girl quite often. I started thinking that lately I should try going some myself. But flower seeds are small and hard to see, so I haven't had much luck finding them. I can't go out in the plains to gather them because of all the monsters, so I'm fresh out of ideas. Are you travelers, perchance? Would you mind finding some seeds for me? It's not urgent, so perhaps you could just keep an eye out for them? I hear you could find seeds when harvesting fruits and flowers. Please let me know if you find any. First, I'll pay for your help, so if you still don't mind. Ah, there's quest 3, okay. Perfect. Do I already have them? Oh, okay. No, I don't. But I'll keep an eye out for them. Oof, crossing the plane sure is a hassle these days. Is this your first time seeing a longma cart? Longma carts are pulled by tame longmas in order to travel swiftly from one destination to another. These guys here are longmas. The one on the right is Snowball, the one on the left is Sanders Helper. Cute, aren't they? What fucking names, wow. Uh, careful monsters in around the caves. Yep, oh, trust me. I know, buddy, I know. All right, 
So, yep, let's go to Old Town. We'll talk to Tia real quick. We'll see if we can't find Quest 1 or 2 laying around. You. There we are. Tia, I'm greatly indebted to you. No, no, you needn't be. Just leave the delivery to me. Thank you for everything. Oh, excuse me. Ah, Adol and Doki. A little strange looking, that one. <laughs> His name is Delian. He's like a doctor around here. He used to be a priest at the temple in the city, but now he's working hard at the Old Town Sanctuary to come up with medicine to keep us all healthy. I'm also pretty good with herbs, so I try to keep help him out whenever I can. Let me see. You must be more than just pretty good if a doctor trusts you that much. <laughs> That's kind of you to say. Oh, I almost forgot. I need to check the schedule for the next Logma cart. This medicine absolutely must be delivered to Shinoa this go-around. Shinoa? As in the village in the woods? Yeah. It's rather far from here, so I take the Longma cart there several times a month. Huh. Adol, uh, what should we do? Yeah, we'll deliver the medicine for Tia. Adol explained to Tia that he'll be going to Shinoa and offered to deliver the medicine for her. You're headed to Shinoa? But you've only just recovered. <laughs> Didn't you know? Adol and I made a steal. We're going there anyway, so please, let us take your package for you. Okay, I accept. Thank you. Let's do this. Please give it to Eldris Fatima. Um, and don't push yourself too hard, okay? I hear Shinoa Forest have become quite dangerous as of late. Shocker. Oh, and there's quest one. Alright, so we've got a good quest journal here. We're only missing quest two. It's probably around here somewhere. Hoedown! You want to know about our traditional dance, huh? It makes the hoedown great as it's simple. It can be learned in a single day. Uh, no, 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 never mind. A bunch of annoying fools barging into Old Town of all places. I better thank Tia properly. Oh, and there's this dude. All right, so they're not going to give us quests. Very unlikely anyway, we just saw the dude. So unless I really want to just talk to everybody and hunt down that other quest, I think I'm good. I feel like we've already done a pretty decent job of tracking down everything, quest-wise. we got a decent number of them. Yeah, I'm actually curious. March of 2024. Wow. So it's been a while since I, uh... It's been a while since I played this. that way. Yeah, we may as well grab all this. Also... Although Strength Blast is about to level up, so that's good. We don't have anything there. Okay. We should start making some decent coin, though, pretty soon. Did that bastard hit me? I think that bastard did hit me. Motherfucker. Now we can cross the bridge. And fight even stronger monsters. Of course, the advantage of doing the um, skill attacks is it will level up as we go. No village south. Okay, Shinoa village is south. Segrim village is to the west. Yeah, fuck that.
Hey, Dogie, finish it off. Right. I'll finish it off. <laughs> Bastard. Yeah, okay. Well, that's the way I should be going. wonder if it'll stop me at some point. Let's go up this way. There we go. Got seeds for the one thing. Like money. Okay, that's the way to the uh, other village. I didn't think it would even. Oh, shit. Okay, let's get the fuck out of there. <laughs> okay, let's heal, and uh, I'm not going back over there for a little while. That was a bad plan. I just wanted to see if I could even, you know, punch above my weight, but no. No, we couldn't. <laughs> The enemies over there are uh, a lot harder. Yeah, it's all the shit. Thank you. Let's see what's over here. Probably nothing. Shocker. That's where we actually want to be. The combat is pretty fluid, though. Like, it works. Let Dogi do all the work there. But as long as I'm attacking it, Dogi will attack it too. Well, obviously that needs to get moved somewhere. Sure, I'll help you pick up all that. Okay, is there anywhere else in here we need to go? Well, that leads up. Probably don't want to go that way. So let's just head south. We'll take Nico Seed. By the time we go back into Altago City, we should have enough seeds now for that one quest. And we're making money. So as soon as I make 2,000, I can buy the better sword. I remember. Right, we want to go down this way. Like Dogi was about to finish it off and then he just stopped attacking. I'm like, why would you stop attacking, dude? You had it. I'm gonna need to upgrade Dogi's equipment too at some point. Um Well that doesn't look great, does it? Fine, I guess we're going to have to fight these things first. Okay, now all the monsters are gone. Hawkeye, huh? That's not an item we've seen since, like, East 1. Or no, uh, East 2.
Raise the dex by 10. We'll take it. Cool. All right. Well, that works for Seraph. Here. Perfect. Back down we go. Okay, can't hit those. Got it. Nothing else. Move on this way. Stop. Keep going after it, my dude. <laughs> Meanwhile, he has no problem attacking the thing he's weak against. Go figure. We're still going the right way. Yep. Still going the right way. Um. It is kind of cool that I don't have to switch to Dogi to attack those. If I'm attacking it, he'll just do the same. Now I could switch to him if I really wanted to, but I really don't want to be switching my character constantly. If I can help it. Yeah, what's up here? Hmm. Nothing else to do up here? Seems like an odd... Well, eh, whatever. Alright, so now that I'm playing this for, for a little while now... Yeah, combat is intuitive. It goes pretty quick. It, like, you pick up on it pretty quick. I like the burst gauge. Um, skills are nice. Like I said, this this game really does start the rest of the modern East games. And even though E6 is the one that kind of revised the series, this is the one that it's still a niche series. But from what I've gathered, E7 is the one that kind of put E on the map as far as North American titles. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't lead us anywhere we can. I do actually remember having to go up this way. Six now. Moving along here. Shit, I'm so tempted to go back and buy the long sword. Let's do that. We can head back before we get too far out of here. And actually, I think that's what I did the last time, and I just kind of ran. Oh, you know, I just noticed the game renders. The shield you buy. <laughs> right, we'll fight through a couple of things here on the way back. It doesn't, it's not going to take us all that long to get back to Altago. Having the better sword, it's a good idea.
So let's pick up more of these seeds. Time. Thank you. It is also nice that Dogie will go out of his way to pick them up as well. Good. Dogie's combination went up. Okay, since you're already fighting it. Oh, you know what I just thought of? I should go back down to the original Tatanos and see if there's a material to be get to get there. I didn't even think about that. We'll get there real quick. Give me those. Definitely speeds up your movement. <laughs> Just a little bit. I usually don't like to do those like rapid tricks. I think you just and it go through. To me, it's a, it's annoying and repetitive to just jump, 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 jump constantly. But um, in a case like that, we were just trying to get through there. Like, yep, we're just going to hop through there. Get the hell out. I'm actually okay with there being no fast travel. It really does make you learn the area. Design. That's it. Okay. Really? Do I have to defeat another Titanos in order to get the material for it? Okay, I guess I do. Well, that's lame. I should have been able to go to its old body and pick up the Titanos materials they were looking for, but I guess I'm going to have to kill more of them. Not that that's a big concern. This game is surely going to throw a lot of them at me. But it would have been nice to just go here and pick them up. Would have been nice. I'm not a big fan of the charge attack. It's okay, but meh. To Altago City we go. I just saw a child wearing a cape run into the tavern. Seems a bit suspicious, don't you think? Perhaps I should report this to the Dragon Knights. All right, so I should probably go into the tavern in a second. Yes. There we go. Okay. Um, you know what? We could also buy some stuff for Dogie here. It's already equipped. Uh, we could buy him a chain guard. Let's do that. Alright, now we actually have stuff equipped for Dogi here. Still spent a lot of our money to do that, but... Oh, I've got somebody wearing a cape. 
Oh, you. They say that merchants visit this tavern sometimes as well. I hope I can get some information like this, Mumble Mumble. She sticks out like a sore thumb here. What's she up to? That is fucking funny. Yeah, I think the seed girl was over here, right? Sorry, sorry, I get lost in my thoughts. I can give you 200 gold for him. What do you think? Yes. Alright, I guess she's going to give me 200 gold for anything that uh, we actually find. Alright, neat. I mean, I like money. That run cycle is uh, something, right? <laughs> Welcome back, Freakbot. Hopefully, you didn't get rained on. How did uh, the rest of Devil May Cry 2 go? Now that I've, uh, now that I've got you. Uh, let's save. Right. Yep. Perfect. It's also. Go to the quests. Some progress. Okay. Took us an extra 45 minutes, but we beat it. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling you were going to have no problem with that. Although, I could see now why that game is regarded as the uh, weakest in the series. Some of those quests in... Uh, Puzzles, shall we say, are definitely um, interesting. Level six. Oh, killed that thing in one hit. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't want to fight those. One floating orb thing was a bag of ass. We would have finished 20 minutes earlier if not for that. Yeah, that thing was ridiculous. Like, who thought of that? Ow. Okay, well, now you hit me. Now you gotta go down. Yeah, and it's very unintuitive of how to deal with it. Yeah, Dogie's run is, um, it's an interesting animation. <laughs> well, just like that, we got half our money back we just spent. Well, we're already to the point where Seraph was, basically. Just a little bit further. So it didn't take us too long. It actually probably took us about the same amount of time because I'd forgotten basically everything anyway. I'm kind of wishing I hadn't done the tutorial, but here we are. I'm sorry, give me one second. I'll be right back. That sounds like a knock at my door.
<laughs> that was very odd. I could swear. I mean, it was either that or it was a knock on one of my neighbors' doors, but it was so loud. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Let us continue. Ah. What a little bastard. Teach that. Fuck with us. Come on, doggy. Sometimes that's the easier thing and just get the other side of it and just keep pinning it to Dogie so it can't get away. I don't remember seeing the, um, has that been there the whole time? Maybe it's been there the whole time. This goes all the way up there. Alright, this is the way we're supposed to go. Hmm. I don't remember if that overall damage thing has been there the whole time or not. Hold it right there! You're not from around here, are you? Why are you in the Shinoa Forest? Huh? Man, talk about weird taste in fashion. So what are you doing here? This isn't the kind of forest you could just take a stroll in, you know? These woods have been crazy lately, so everyone in the village has been on the looking for Titanos. Titanos! We gonna get accosted in here too? Actually, we're on our way to visit the Eldress of Shinoa Village. That all told the boy, the King Kamaro has written an introduction letter for them. So you're on your way to meet Grandma with that letter from the King, huh? Heh, I have an idea. Can I see that letter? And like a total naive doofus, Adol just hands the king's letter over to him. Oh wow, this really is from the king. And now it's mine! What? <laughs> Why don't I deliver this for you? If you want it back, you'll have to catch me first. Which you totally can't do. Fucker. Hey, what's the big idea, you little... Adol, we gotta hurry or we're losing for real. It's like, are you named at all, you little shit? It's not gonna work. Boom. Ooh, that looks good. It's like iron ore, charcoal. What's over here? Treasure chest. Ah. Hey, Dogi. Do your job. Thank you. Yep, I will take Eco Extract. Thank you very much. Listen here, you little shit. an old stone statue covered in moss. It looks lonely. Interesting. For that. Perfect. I 
like being level 7. Let's go see what's over here. At least juggle it. Take the shield ring. We'll equip that. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll equip that to Dogi here. Let him take a little less damage. Running slash now. Uh, let's take that. Let's find out how what that does. Start getting some um, variation with our special move here. Okay. Well, I like that move a lot. So it's obvious we need to go this way. I hate the look of this. Let's do this. What a bunch of blockheads. Like they'll ever able to be able to catch up with me. Huh? Well, no surprise here. Crap. This must be its nest. Whoa. Ah, is that brat again? Ah, oh, crap. Hey, kid, get back. Long tusked boar is galleon. it up there. What's the button? There it is. Ah, oh, I 
ran right into it. Okay. Fine, let's heal up again. Really didn't want to use that other healing potion. Damn it. Oh, that's cheap as shit. <laughs> That was cheap that it used its poison thing and then did it again before I could recover. But we still got it. Phew, that was close. But yeah, it sucks that it could stun lock you. You hurt anywhere, Pipsqueak? You think something like this could hurt me? Ha! I could have taken care of a monster like that by myself. I no problem treating me like a kid. Here, take it. Thank you, kid. Having some sense here. That whole thing. Why are you thanking me? You really are dumb. You're strong, but stupid. Only idiots get tricked so easily. You know, kid, we just saved your ass. Did not. But, okay, I guess. What are your names? I'm Dogie. Adol introduced himself. Adol and Dogie, huh? I'm Elk, from Shinoa Village. I'm actually pretty famous around here. You said you're on your way to meet with the Eldress, right? Go to the village and ask for an old lady named Fatima. She lives in a large house, way in the back. I need to get going before I'm found out. <laughs> See ya, Rock for Brains. And you too, Red Hair. Little ass hat. <sighs> Kids these days. No respect, I tell ya. Oh, well, we got the letter back. Let's get going, at all. up all your juicy, delicious items. Take that, you little creep. Come on, Dogie, rather. Finish it off. Running slash, huh? I will take it. I thought I had running slash already, but whatever. We've been doing that, right? That's not creepy. Yeah, that's that shit is fucking creepy as all hell. 
Is this the new Mortal Kombat, right? Phoenix, what's going on, buddy? How are you doing, bro? Greetings, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're having some fun here. Now this is uh, E7. But good to see you, my friend. Lovely weather we're having. <laughs> Although we got really lucky, at least in our area, from uh, some of the weather we had. We'd had, uh, at least for me, I had weather feeder bands going, you know, I watched them go north and south of me pretty much all weekend. Crazy times. I haven't been able to jump in for a while. Have you been? I've been good. I've been good. You know, just... I'm working, 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 working. You know how it goes. You're not from the village. This is Shinoa Village. What are you here for? Came through the forest on foot? Man, ignorance would be a scary thing. If you'd run into a Tatano on the way, well, let's just say you'd like you would have made it here, I suspect. Let's see. Is this an item shop? Strangers to the village? Are you? Welcome, welcome. This is a village assembly hall. We don't have a lot to offer, but please make yourselves at home. Yeah, blustery today with some light rain. Yeah, granted, Cleo's loved being out on the patio because she's out of her fucking mind, but, um, yeah, outside of her, it's been interesting weather. I hear it's become impossible to get to the altar inside the ancient tree because of those blasted rock thorns. I wonder what I'll ever be able to see the altar again. I hear even the monsters inside the ancient tree are going crazy. I'd like to go visit the altar, but, well, I keep thinking about what the Titanos did to the village last time. Lovely. I think this is where we need to go. This is where the hunters of Shinoda hold meetings. Well, let no. So don't do anything stupid while you're here, okay? All right, fair enough. Sure, let's talk to the blatant woodchuck. <laughs> Carol Xander. Well, hello, young fellows. My name is Carol Xander, and I teach the children of Shinoa about our old traditions. Have you seen the guardian statues in the forest? They protect travelers from harm and grant us a bountiful harvest. Yeah, you the, all those creepy statues? Yeah, I saw them. Trust me, I saw them. <laughs> I don't know why I always have to talk to the animals. It's like, doggo! Oh, customer, come on in. We're open. All right, so we already bought a sword. So I could buy that for Dogi and boost his strength. But I think what I'm better off doing here is let's just get some other... Hmm. Good question. What do I want to do with these? Hmm. Good question. But yeah, if you haven't, if you've, uh, since it's been a little while, uh, Phoenix, yeah, we're, we're just making our way through all the East games. We've made it through East one and six. Now we're on seven. We're actually, the next one will be my favorite eight. Eight is definitely my favorite, but eight takes a while to get through. Um, and, um, and then by a hair, there's Monstrum Nox, which is East 9. That's also super fun. I'm actually really looking forward to playing those games. I almost played 8 instead of this, but I'm like, yeah, you've gone in order so far. Why don't you just stay going in order? This one has an Ocarina of Time, Secret of Mana feel. It kind of does. Now, this game came out in, I want to say, 2007. I feel like this game came out in 2007 uh, for the Sony PSP. So there's that. Um, yeah, let's do this. And let's equip it a doggy. That was the right call. Thanks so much. Now doggy's got the better one. Yeah, actually, what really had a secret of mana feel was East 5. That had a mad secret of mana feel. Right, this is going to be where... We find our village elder. Please do. You all need to be careful. Right, I'll be sure to tell the others. 
what I consider East is almost like a combination of, um, it's as if Secret of Mana, but anime. <laughs> oh, who might you be? Don't just stand there. Come on over. I do think that the East games also had better stories than their contemporaries for RPGs, like these action adventure games. They were the, at least in, from what I remember, sort of the pioneers of getting you NPCs and other um, characters you actually cared about, as opposed to, yep, here's a sword. Save the princess and kill the bad guy. <laughs> Secret day of Maname. You Eldris Fatima. Fatima. Eldris of Sanoa. Oh my goodness. Yeah, thank you for that. I do believe this is our first encounter, though. How is it you know my name? Adol informed Fatima that they had met Elk out in the forest and heard about her from him. Not to mention that the king told us to come here and give her the letter. Man, I'm sucking down water like it's nobody's business. Ah, uh, Elk must have left the village again. Elk is my grandson. That boy and his pranks. I'll whoop him good when he gets home. I'm sorry if he caused you any trouble. <laughs> not at all. I mean, he was a bit of a punk, but he's clearly not bad to the core or anything like that. You're too kind and very direct. Elk's been through a lot. Anyway, what brings you here? Adol handed Fatima the king's letter and explained why they came to Shinoa. I see. That close to Otago City, eh? The king told us that there's an altar dedicated to the dragons around here. And with that voice we heard, and the strange power, we'd like to check the altar to see if it's related to these dragons somehow. It is true that we have a dragon altar here. It's located in the ancient tree of Shinoa, which is a holy place for our people. Meaning no outsiders. However, after reading the letter from his majesty, I can make an exception for you. <laughs> Thank you, Aldris. There is one catch, however. Apparently, a Tatano has decided to call that... Come on, dialogue. Call that area home. An insect type, from the reports. And no one knows when it might pop out and strike. Do you still want to go, even knowing that? I see, I see. Well, you seem to be skilled warriors. Maybe you'll do just fine, as long as you're careful. You'll be needing this. Right. The ancient tree has a key. The ancient tree is behind the village. Tread lightly now, you hear? Uh, so yeah, we're definitely going to have a Deku tree type of level here in a second. I pretty much have gotten this far when I played this last year, and this is as far as I basically got. Sounded like you guys were talking about something serious with Grandma. Something about the ancient tree, right? What'd you want to know about it? You were eavesdropping then? Oh, pff. Who cares about that? Just fill me in. I want to know. Adol explained to Elk that they were on their way to a dragon altar. The Shinoa altar, huh? Oh, but that area is... What? <laughs> Never mind. It's nothing. That doesn't look like nothing, Squirt. Hey, why don't I help you get there? I know you guys are strong, but having someone who knows this way around here would help, right? Well, yeah, it might. Are you sure? Doesn't your grandma get mad at you when you just leave the village? Only if I get caught. <laughs> the monsters in that area are really strong, though. So I should check. So we should check your equipment before you go. Anyway, yeah. What have you got to lose? Come on, let's go. Yeah, the dialogue boxes. There's something glitchy about that. Anyway, what does he need to know his way around? You game model? Yeah, fuck it. Let's take the kid. Elk joins your party. All right. And we could equip him with anything if we want. He's got this stuff. It's good. I don't have any extra accessories, so I think we're good here. Yes. All right. Just like that, we have ourselves a party. Elk, where are you off to? Didn't the elders tell you not to wander off by yourself? I'm just going to show them the way to the altar. That's all. I'll come right back. So don't tell Grandma about this, okay? Promise. Ah, sure. Yeah, my word. Just be careful out there. 
What could go wrong? <laughs> so let's save. And let's take a look and see how big this tree is. Hey, Adol, what are you looking? Whoa! What the hell is that? <laughs> I knew you'd be surprised. That's the ancient tree. Yeah, that thing is fucking huge. That? Man, it's huge. Are trees even allowed to get that big? The altar you're looking for is inside of it. There might be a Tatano in there, though, too, so let's be careful. But yeah, all in all, for a game that was made for the PSP, I thought it was pretty good. This is the way I need to go. Treasure chest. Take eco extract. Ooh, and a shield ring. We'll give that to uh, Elk. There we go. Help him stay alive a little longer. Yeah, we'll grab these. Shoe. Slashy, slashy. Work our way up here. Yeah, we're having fun here. I think I remember correctly. Can't get in this way, or I can't get in very far this way. Some more of that. Yep, and that's it for that, because if I go in any further, we're getting damaged by any of all of that. Well, I could save and try just to see if I could get across it. Fuck it. Oh, it hits me back. Okay, fine. I'll just sit still and heal for a minute. <laughs> yep, so that was that very good reason that you couldn't go in there. You know, I really should trust my memory more. I really, really should. <laughs> uh, Seraph, you stupid, stupid bastard. That's it. Wait, what was that? What's this one? Oh, and I'll die. Yep, I'm gonna totally die. Uh, yep, that's enough of that. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> I answered that question. <laughs> All right, so I need an item to get through uh, that. <laughs> Well, there goes our deathless run. Although, does that count when I'm just trying things? That probably should count, though. That probably should count. Not 
not really sure what I expected out of that, but... <laughs> uh. But it is always sad when your deathless run ends, and especially for like such a stupid reason. Like, hey, let me see if I can get across this. No. No, I can't. This, the door to the ancient tree is locked. When a question appears above your head, there's an object nearby that can be interacted. Press the assigned button or key, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Yeah, I know. We need to use the key for this. I, I understand. Go. Alright. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of That Didn't Happen. So if we go all the way down there, ew. well, that's gross. That's very gross. And I think if I, I think I could fall off this. Good, I cannot fall off that. Sweet. Grab that. Ow! What the hell's that? Oh. You fucking went after it. God damn it. No. no guys, stop fucking drawing aggro. <laughs> I go this way and see what's up. Let's see what's going on over here. Looks like he could go up from here. Uh, sure. Let's climb up. Why not? No, we just spent the trouble climbing up here. Hmm. All right. At some point, that's going to make sense. Yeah, climb down. Damn. Okay. I think that's the area I actually need to get to. Well, at least we got a lot of money for killing those things uh, twice. Certainly dogpiled on that. Alright, so... This is going to make sense in a minute. Uber crit! Still can't get these across. Cross. Okay. Now here's where Sarah finds out if standing still inside of a dungeon does the same thing as it does outside, and I'm thinking it doesn't. Nope, we cannot gain HP inside. So I'm going to be able to be very careful inside here. Fortunately, there's the, um, the spirit monument outside that we can go to. Thankfully, with three of us, we make pretty quick work of a lot of this shit. Yeah, 
charcoal times 10. Nope. We're stunlocking you. Can I activate this? There we go. But I don't have the item yet. Okay. Once I get an item, I can do that. Whoops. I hate archers. There we go. Ooh, and we get max hit points when I go up a level. That is helpful. way. Okay, well, nice that it's giving us all of that. Let's go here. Gotta be careful of all those spikes. Okay. Of course, the main problem still can't get through that. Shit. Oh, no, I can't. I just gotta be very careful. Okay. Man, this is bizarre. <laughs> yep, let's go down. What's this? Oh, all right, saplings. Sure, we'll take saplings. See what's over here. Yeah, go figure. Take the level. Man, we're getting tons of uh, those materials. Not that I really know what to use them for, but it's nice that we're getting them. sakes. Fuck you up, little bastard. Alright, so now we're... Uh, okay, now we're over here. This tree sap glints mysteriously in the faint sunlight. Oh, this is ancient tree sap. Ancient tree sap? What's so special about that? Is it tasty or something? No, you dope. Ancient tree sap holds a deep mystical power of abundance. It's usually during the New Year's festival and stuff. You don't want it down. It makes plants grow instantaneously. Hmm. Sounds like it might be useful to take some. <laughs> My mom taught me all that. She knew a lot about this tree. Alright. And now we could use this ancient tree growing sap to uh, make um, new pathways through here.
Well, that's going to be a little annoying to do, but we got this. All right, now we could go full circle here. Okay, was there anything else I wanted to do up this way? I don't think so. But now we've gone this way. Fuckers. I think we went okay right we went up and that's how we went around and i don't think there's anything else to do up there fucking goblin archer it is fun to juggle the enemies here. I don't remember why we need to do that. Right, that's probably going to be end up being a way down. Okay. So I guess the question is, do I leave to save or do I just save here? You know what, let's just save here. Because I'm still pretty okay. I don't think I need to go outside to heal or anything. Now we'll take some of the spring water. Man, this is gross. <laughs> Decimated that guy. Hey, Pokey, how are you? Oh, you're about to platinum Fallout 4. Nice. Yeah, I never bought... I, I decided I was not going to personally bother platinuming that game. There were a couple of Nanooka World... Uh, there were a couple of those Nuka World quests where I'm like, I am not getting 5 million uh, tickets or whatever it is. <laughs> That's an accomplishment. Congratulations. Yeah, that and the, um, the happiness one. Granted, the happiness one is easy to cheese. You just go into a settlement, um, create a bunch of, like, cat traps so that there are, like, ten cats. Put up, set up a medic tent, or a medic shop, and away you go. So it's the same button, which makes it um, easy to accidentally trigger the menu there. All right, we're outside again, though, so I should just be able to be able to rest and regenerate my health here. Yep, I can. Woohoo! All I have to do is 50 terminals, 50 miscellaneous, and max on championship and already done max happiness. Nice. Well, you already got the harder ones. Yeah. At this point, it's it's a done deal. Go up. Let's see what's going on up here. What could go wrong? Hmm. Hey, Seraph, why don't you just stand still and take an arrow to the face? It's cool. Wait a minute. That was an interesting idea. I wonder if I need to let him fire a fireball 
and burn something to then drop down. I don't know if this game would be that advanced to think about, but... Like, that was my first thought of seeing that fireball thing. I'm like, oh, we're on a bunch of really flammable material. Unless it's just a trap. Like, if you accidentally F up, they might just burn it and then you fall. That would be pretty lame, too. Potentially creative. side perfect check the map again good we're going the right way no. damn it oh shit I mean, clever of them to toss in uh, a bunch of enemies and that all have ranged, and you really can't ignore any of them. Alright, so this is presumably where we'd have to go. Just for my own amusement here, now that we've got a save point. That's... Oh, I saved it there. So I'm actually further than I got. Okay, so I must have gotten here. Yep, that's exactly what happened. We are now past the point I got. And we managed to do it 20 minutes earlier. <laughs> so I was a little more efficient this time around. I'm like, I don't remember any a lot of this. Cool. Let's see what we got. White snake. My, my head immediately went to the 80s hair band. <laughs> what does this do? All right. Prevents poison. And boosts defense. Uh, yes. Yes. I like not having to worry about poison. Please and thank you. I don't think there's anything over here, but we'll look anyway. Yeah, there wasn't. Here I go again on my own. Like a twist to it. It's not what I wanted to do. That was what I wanted to do. I don't think there's anything else to do here. Man, this is, uh... These are some pretty crazy hazards now. Okay. Do not let those hit you. Got it. <laughs> they can freeze you. That is not good. That is not good. I'm going to be very careful of that. about it. <laughs> now at this point, Seraph can easily get lost. So we came up this way. We got two options to go. Let's go down this way and see what's over here. Why don't you get out of that so we don't drown? Cool. We'll take the panacea. Alright. So we can drown in there if we hang out in there. Fortunately, we were able to just go in there. Oh, we got a thousand gold. Sweet. Oh, wow. I've got like 8,000 gold. 
I've got more money than I know what to do with at the moment. about that. Man, I'm taking way too many hits here. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Uh, at this point, I've gone too far up this thing. I mean, it could go back outside. But I think the end is near. So... Let's let's do that. All right. This time being a little more smart about how I'm how I'm fighting things. Well, that's what we want. Diamond boots. Okay, well, it sounds awesome. Fuck the diamond boots, do? Oh, they're going to be able to just cut through the spikes on the ground. Man, those are some nice boots at all. They look really durable, too. Those are diamond boots. Legendary boots worn by the best hunters in Shinoa. Why we have legend about boots, I don't know. But we can go anywhere in the forest with these. We can go anywhere without them, too. What makes them so special? My dad told me that in places with thorns or dangerous creatures, um... Elk, what's wrong? It's nothing. Why don't we try using the boots? We might be able to go places in the, with them we couldn't before. Yep, like the very bottom. Equipped by the entire party via the item menu. Alright. Alright. Yep. Okay. Nice job dodging that. Alright, that was actually a nice job dodging all of that shit. Okay, Camberica extract. I have no idea what it does, but fuck it. This. Yep, and that gets us to where we were before. Yep. We will. Yep, and uh, now we're down here. Right where we were. And then we'll go down there, we'll hit that little statue thing. Yeah, fuck it. Just drop these guys. Somebody got poisoned, but it wasn't me. <laughs> Considering I used that fucking two focus potions, I was worried there was going to be a... Uh... Okay, how do I get to that one? Okay, how do I get there? get there. It's got a nice treasure chest. It looks like I can climb down from above. But I don't remember an area to climb down from up there. Alright, real quick, why don't I just go up here? Let's just climb up it really fast. Yeah, let's climb up. Let's see if there's an easy way down that I just missed. 
I don't think so, though. I don't see a way down. Well, you know what? down that way. Hmm. I thought maybe I could head down that way. Yep, we went down this way. Damn. Alright. Well, at this point, now let's head out. I did want to get to that treasure chest. I just don't see how to get to it. I must have missed it somewhere. I just don't know where. <sighs> Not sure where I missed it. But out we go. Ooh, actually, I think I see where we go. Oh. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, you little asshole. Well, let's head down here and see what sort of stupid bullshit boss we have to fight. I like money. Let's get money. Money, 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 money. So I'm guessing once we do some backtracking, we can come back here and then go under there. Ah. Hey guys, hold up a sec. I feel something. You feel something? What do you mean? I don't know exactly. It's like the forest all around us has suddenly gotten noisy. There's a kind of tension in the air. I think it's a... Yep, it's a Titanos. Of course it is. No surprise there. Uh, no, 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 I wanted to save, I wanted to save! Fuck, I wanted to save. I did not mean to act go into the door. How'd we end up in a weird place like this? Fuck, hopefully it lets me still save in here. Oh, fuck. Well, that looks fucked up. It's a Titano, almost fully matured. Huh? It's so close to the village. This thing, these damn Titanos, they're the ones who took mom and dad. Oh, don't Leroy Jenkins this, Elk. God damn it, Leroy. Hey, Elk! You know, we could have just gone to the fucking altar and left it alone. Shithead. Alright. Zaran Phil. Well, here we go. Okay. So its legs seem to be the way we... Yep, the legs are where we want to be attacking at the moment. Fine, fair enough. Man, this thing is big.
Ah, I didn't get out of there in time. I'm guessing I have to get the legs. And then once all the legs are down, then we could do some damage to it. Which makes... annoying so far. Oh, fuck. There's really no way to avoid running into that. Alright, that's it for that side. Damn it. Oh, Heavy sucks. Come on, Heavy, wear off. Uh, they're all status effects. I don't know if I want to use a panacea on that. Let's do this. While Adol recovers from that. All right. Oh. don't like really I really don't like this boss damn it ah uh, time to switch all right Adol Adol got Doki got fucking uh heavy Damn. Yeah, let's, uh... Oh, fucking Christ! I'm so tired of that fucking status effect. Ah, So lame. Hey, ah, oh, I'm trapped. There we go. Alright, now I'm out. Okay. That looks bad. Where's the rest of it? Oh, okay, that's where they... There's one leg over here. Is that what's going on? Come on, get me to that leg. I even see it. Thankfully, you could see it. Man, this is going to be fucking tedious. Um. Okay, well, that's new. Use the Morella incense here. I want these out of here. I can. Shit! Oh, come on! You gotta be kidding me! Wow, this is like. This is fucking a lot harder than I feel like it should be. But alright, yep, Panacea. Thank you. Uh, 
Oh, what the fuck is this thing doing now? Hate that webbing. Oh my god, you know, whatever. Alright, what is going on here? Uh, Let's do this! I guess we're doing this again. I didn't even notice it grabbed at all. That was bad. Oof. All right. Well, oh, come on. I dodged that. There's nowhere to go. I'm not even sure what we're supposed to do there. One more leg. No. Okay, we got it. I wonder if I'm not high enough level. Because we're not doing dick damage to that. I feel like I'm probably not at a high enough level here. Hey, stop that. What are we doing? Again, I just got rid of these fucking things. I wonder if I should just ignore them. Just there's already so much bullshit I have to avoid. Oh, see, All right, let's run over here. No, let go of Dogi, you little bastard. Oh, come on! Stop that. Ugh. Can't fucking see. First on fire. Oh, fuck. I jumped right into it. That's my own damn fault. I'm gonna die. Yeah, let's do that. Ugh. This is fucking brutal. Holy shit. Yeah, we gotta get rid of these. These things are just... These things are killing us. something wrong. I don't think I'm doing something wrong. I think I'm too low level for this. Fortunately, I did save right before going in here, so I think what we're going to do here is, uh, at this point, I'm just going to let it kill me, even though we kind of got it a little low. But at this point, I'm out of healing items. Um... Yeah, we don't we don't kill these things fast enough, which is a problem. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that was uh that was pretty brutal. All right, but we've got money, so what I think I'm inclined to do, uh, maybe just not high enough. Period. Yeah. Um, I think I think we've hit the limit of what I am capable of at the moment. What I need to do is I need to farm. I need to farm for some levels because clearly we're just not strong enough. Um, but what I need to do is head back and buy a better sword. So what I think I need to do, go back to Altago City. Oh, we learned will spin. That's pretty neat. Wait, where are we? Oh, right, because it fucked us. 
because we got this far and I didn't it made me go in the door without saving oh we also lost a lot of progress oh no 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 I'm I'm done <laughs> that's lame that it makes you walk inside um that's bullshit that it makes you walk inside when uh, the, although I, it's I guess it's my own fault I got too close to the door I wanted to go to the spirit monument and save I didn't want to go in the door. Um, yeah, no, we're we're done with this. Let's go to the title. That was lame, but we'll do better next time. Um, <laughs> let's see what we can write out to. I'm I'm not doing all that again. Um, that's just that's just not happening. Uh, let's see who's who's on that we can raid out to. Uh, assuming we do raid, let's let's find out. Um, but in any event, I want to thank everybody for coming out. We uh, we got a good start at E7 at least. Um. You know, up until I accidentally walked into the boss room, which I didn't mean to, I would have much preferred to have saved beforehand uh, until Elk decided to fucking Leroy Jenkins the thing in there. That's kind of shitty that it just kind of uh, walks in there. And I, and the second that happened, I had a bad feeling about that, but whatever. All right, I see Karajitsu's on. Let's go raid Karajitsu. Um... In the meantime, let's see, this week, I, I probably will be on on Tuesday, on Tuesday night. And we'll just, we'll just play it by ear at that point. And we'll, we'll, we'll worry about, um, anything beyond that, uh, at a later time. So, um, but yeah, this was fun. Um, you know, I basically only did just about where, um, where I was last time. So, uh, I think what I'll do is off stream, I'll, I'll farm up a little bit. I'll, I'll get some better equipment. We'll maybe gain a level or two. Um, and then once why, once I'm right in front of that, uh, boss, uh, I'll save and we'll resume and, uh, and we'll go from there. Uh, whether that's Tuesday or not, uh, that remains to be seen. I'm actually thinking Tuesday night will probably be a mech warrior night, but, um, But we'll we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. And it just occurred to me, my um, my stupid uh, my stupid Alexa is playing music on the first floor for some reason. It's amazing how often it misinterprets shit and just does stuff. Um, oh my god! Not to go into an anti-Amazon tirade because I have them, but it's like it is amazing how uh, how much better my Echoes and Alexa were in 2015 than they are today. Um, it's gotten so much worse in 10 years and I don't know how you do that. Like as, as with, when you are, when, when you have all the engineers and the resources at your disposal, your product should get better, not worse, but <laughs> I digress. Let's get this party started. Let's say hi to Kara. Uh, it looks like he's playing Sea of Thieves. Uh, thanks everybody for coming out and I will talk to you approximately later. Have a great week, everybody. Ciao.